Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hello everyone. So uh, today we will talk about um, the role of bio biotechnology in protecting plants against weeds. Uh, so for this team we have six member. First, Kakazandra Panata with student number 134, 119, and 138. And then uh, Rizal Zakan Wahakim 143, Adenovian Wibowo. 145 and Clarissa Selatifa 178 and Yeskel Adi Alessandro Mogan with uh, student number 198 and Rumampu Yunita Anggraini with student number 199. Okay guys, so before we are uh, talk about uh, this matter, we will talk about biotechnology first. So biotechnology has been in use uh, since and some prayer began using yes uh, culture to make beer. Either. So from this, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, development from the biotechnology. But before we have uh, talk about biotechnology more, we will talk about wet. Uh, we will talk about wet. So yes, uh, what is wet? Wet is a plant which grow out of time and space. It has a number of harmful effects. Most of him, most important one is with cause crop yield loss among all the pests, causing yields loss with uh, alone account for 37% of total annual crop yield loss in India where the contribution of insect, disease, and other pests are respectively uh, 29%, 20%, and 12%. Yet, uh, to Uh, okay, so we will jump to the next and we will talk about what is uh, integrated weight management. So the uh, integrated weight management means that uh, we are integrating multiple methods to manage weight uh, using the combination practice that is mo uh, most effective for solving the specific weight using at hand. So you can see from the uh, from the screen that we are use uh, some uh, method for uh, integrated weight management to uh, prevent uh, all of the weight and we are uh, care with on uh, the weight. Okay. Okay. The next topic is biotechnological approach in weight management. Through biotechnology and biological system, living organism or parts of this is at least to develop or create different, different products for controlling the population. There are different approaches for biotechnological weed management. The first is development of herbicide resistant crops. The second is improvement of biocontrol agents. The third is development of transgenic allopathy in crops. And the fourth is character, characterizations of bits using molecular systemic. Okay, the next is opportunities for the application of biotechnology in, in weed management. The first one is the development and use of bioherbicides, which is the use of plant pathogenic organisms such as fungi, bacteria, and viruses as biological control agents. The second one is the discovery and use of naturally occurring herbicides, which is, is herbicides made from natural ingredients are eco-friendly and rarely cause weed resistance. The third one is the genetic improvement of crop tolerance to herbicides, which is tolerance genes in plants can be obtained through biotechnological processes such as gene injection or recombinant DNA. The fourth one is the use of genetically engineered microorganisms for other areas of weed management, which is the contamination of herbicides fails or the projection or selected crops against herbicide injury. Uh, what is a GMO? A genetically or genomes is a plant or an animal that has been genetically modified through the addition of small amount of genetic material from other organisms through molecular technique. The role of B 
biotechnology in protecting plant from weed. The capacity to manipulate genes among unrelated species is a major technological breakthrough in modern production of food to the world. Transgenic insect resistant maize, GM maize, Poaceae and cotton calcium species, Malvaceae, and expressing Bacillus thuringiensis, Berliner Pt protein have been adopted rapidly worldwide since they were first commercialized in 1996. The USA has been the leading country in the adopting GM corp. In 2009, the USA planted 22 million hectares of GM maize, accounting for 63% of its total maize area, and 2.4 million hectares of GM cotton, accounting for 65% of its total cotton area. Uh, the benefit of using biotechnology. Some of benefit of using a biotechnology on corn yield. The first is uh, the control of Ostrinia nobilalis. Cry 1AB, the protein toxin in GM corn, has been transformed into several generic events by several seed companies. Hybrids with the yield card technology provide 98% control of first and second generation of European corn borer. This solves the problem of monitoring the generation of European corn borer in the blending season. The second is the elimination of yield loss. The GM corn protects the corn from European corn borer in injury and yield loss associated with stop tunneling. There are two types of biotechnologies for IPM. There are modern and conventional. Modern biotechnologies for IPM. Modern biotechnologies applies genetic manipulation techniques known as recombinant DNA or genetics engineering. Genetic engineering can be carried out on both plants and natural enemies of plants. Genetic engineering in plants is carried out by engineering related to genes that protect plants from intruders. For, for example, for example, plants with the Roundup Ready label consist of soybean, cannabis, and corn that are resistant to the herbicides roundup, while the natural enemy engineering is done by engineering the genes that determine their production ability. For example, fruit flies that are mass bred for further sterilization using radioactivity and then released as past fruit fly control. And next is conventional biotechnologies for IPM. In conventional biotechnology, the application of biological, biochemical, or engineering techniques is still very limited so that it has not yet reached the level of molecular engineering. In this case, living organisms are used directly and naturally. For example, the use of the insect actinode NTS dope Lepidoptera nymphalid as insects that eat with Chromolaina odorata and Mycania micranta. Ducks and Azola were able to reduce weeds, Lugivigia ascendants, and Eclipta prostrate. Fungus C. lunata on with C. rotundus and F. oxysporum on with C. rotundus. Uh, next, uh, development of plant selectivity herbicides. Allelopathy can be used to develop new BR herbicide to inhibit weed germination and grow. Identification and qualification of natural weed control compounds. Allelo chemicals can help development natural herbicide based on native or invasive weeds to reduce crop dependence on, on synthetic herbicide and improve integrate crop management program for weeds. This review describes the potential of allelo chemicals present in plant, which can be used as tools to develop new natural herbicides. Uh, development of plant selectivity herbicide. Uh, the first one is Brasia SP extract. High concentration of glucosinolates are present in Brasica SP. These compounds are degraded when the plant tissues 
are decomposed in soil and their main depression product are isotical canites sorgonal sorgolone as a bioherbicide sorgolone as a bioherbicide found in sorghum sp it inhibits oxygen evolution during potato photosynthesis and in senecio vulgaris l general basis it affect the cell multiplication cycle by inhibiting the number of cell in protopase metapase and anapase sorghum and the last one a uh, sorghum extract the best known example of the natural bioherbicide are pitotoxic water extract of sp color or sorghum and uh, helianthus analus l sunflower they are named sorghum and sunflower respectively and control the weeds without crop yield losses the next is developing crop resistance to herbicide a source of herbicide resistance germ plants collection artificial random mutagenesis site specific mutagenesis transgenic and b molecular mechanism of herbicide resistance proposed for altered target site in enhanced metabolism compartmentalization or sequestration of expression of the target protein. C. Conventional approaches to develop herbicide tolerant crops. Screening for natural variation in various germ plants plus line of diverse source. Using available genes is gene pool or genes present in wild relative. Use of random mutagenesis for creating variation for resistance to herbicide. D is germ plus screening, E mutant screening, F wild relative and wild species, G transgenic with the agrobacterium. Application of biological control. The first is utilization of plant biotechnology, such as genetic engineering can also facilitate farmers in cultivating crops. The assumption in wheat control is to produce plants that have resistance to certain types. The assumption in wheat control is to produce plants that have resistance to certain types of herbicides. For example, plant labeled as Roundup Ready, consisting of soybeans, canola, and corn that are resistant to the herbicides Roundup. The second is Cruz and Steinberg in years 2000 stated that allelopathic plants can be used to control weeds by A. The use of plants that have allelopathic substances in cultivated plants. B. Application of allelopathic plants residues and straw or litter as much. C. The use of allelopathic plants in a gradual rotation where the plants that have the allelopathy function as a loser while the residue can suppress weed population around the cultivated plants. One type of weed that can be controlled with allelopathic substances is broadleaf weed. Uh, the last one is biological, biological control of weeds is a way of controlling by, by using natural enemies, both pest in, insect, this is pathogen, fungi, and so on to suppress growth. Among other things, biological control using insects such as at, Actinot antes, Lepidoptera, Nipalidae, and other again, can have an uh, unattacking effect in suppressing and inhibiting uh, the growth of which Chromolinae odotora and Mikania micranta, which have also been introduced for a long time. Okay, the next topic is advantages of utilization of biological weight control agents. The first one is a high degree of specificity for the target width. The second one is no effects are non-target and beneficial plants or men. The third one is absence of weed resistance development. The fourth one is eco-friendly. There's no residue buildup in environment. 
and the fifth is potential impact from biotechnological research and development. There are some disadvantages of utilizations too. Uh, the first one is the registration process of bioherbicides may be lengthy. The second one is separation or killing of weeds by bioherbicides may be a slow process. The third one is stability of bioherbicides under field condition is highly de dependent on environmental condition. The fourth one is production of a bioherbicides for the large scale application may be expensive process. The fifth one is numerous fungi need to be discovered and developed as bioherbicides. Okay, thank you everyone for uh, give attention to our uh, our team. So, guys, if you have a question, uh, you can uh, ask uh, ask our group in uh, social media or WhatsApp. Thank you.